The Science Museum of Virginia is located in a historic train station that was actually designed by John Russell Pope. It's almost 100 years old, so it's a little bit unexpected when you see kind of the stately classic architecture of the place, but then on the inside realize that we're all about fun and we're all about kind of celebrating science. You know, one of the, the jobs that the Science Museum has is to kind of connect people to the world of science. And so we had to start off with a subject matter that we thought that most people would care about. So we picked themselves. The Boost is our first new permanent exhibit gallery in a long time here at the Science Museum of Virginia. And what we wanted to do was to really celebrate the connection that people have with science to their health, their well-being, their passions, their memory. There are a lot of uh, things that are interconnected that people may not realize. And so in Boost, you get a chance to really explore yourself, compare yourself not only to you, but to other folks. We actually have a tight wire exhibit in Boost that looks very simple, uh, just a, a wire stretched uh, across the floor, but has proved to be extremely popular where people get a chance to actually test their balance, uh, some of the same things that they see in gymnasts, perhaps, uh, or aerialists, and they get to kind of do it themselves and, uh, and obviously compete while they are. Science museums are physical spaces, so we really try to create a physical experience. We want to do something that you can't do at home on your computer or watching television. So having a certain physicality with how you interact with the experiences, having the ability to smell things or actually uh, taste things while you're here, those are really important to us. We actually have a kitchen stadium in Boost where we have our educators that do cooking demos. We actually grow food at the Science Museum and now we have a place to do something with it and actually prepare healthy things for our guests to actually uh, participate in and taste for themselves. The idea that creativity comes out, that you can actually create your own music, create a ringtone for your phone, or create your own original video that you can share with your friends. Those are things that we really wanted to make sure they came out strongly in Boost. Even the exhibits themselves allude to everything from Lucy to Seinfeld. One of the exhibits, More Cowbell, uh, which maybe uh, rings a bell, uh, allows you to kind of create music and see the interrelationship between mathematics and developing music on your own. So we had a great design team for Boost. Uh, not only the funder, uh, HDL, who really kind of influenced, I think, a lot of the values of the exhibit, but the designer, and fabricator, Roto, uh, was really great about just working in partnership and very, very collaborative. The physical space that we have Boost in isn't exactly a uh, prototypical science museum gallery. We kind of had low ceilings. We really had to create kind of an architectural aesthetic. And so we have what we affectionately refer to as slinkies that have really kind of created uh, physical spaces from which people can maybe celebrate the learning just a little bit more. Boost is organized around mind, body, and play. So we have a lot of physical exhibits around the body, but we also really explore uh, the mind and things like memory and can you exercise and actually improve your memory. But also things like happiness and what makes people happy and what is your passion? What happens when you sleep? We spend uh, about a third of our lives sleeping and while we know a fair amount about what's going on when you're unconscious, there's a lot that we don't know. Boost, you get to learn all kinds of things about yourself, your own strength, your balance, your flexibility, maybe a little bit about your memory. What we've done with Boost is really try to create an environment where adults, grandparents, and kids can all kind of participate together and maybe learn something from each other. We thought competition was really important, especially for young people, because they really do enjoy competing and kind of comparing themselves. So we wanted to certainly have that element in Boost, but it's not designed so that some people get left out. There's really something for everyone in here. In Boost, you get a chance to really explore yourself, compare yourself not only to you, but to other folks. It's a chance to kind of get at creativity just a little bit. And, you know, again, find something for everyone. You know, not everyone, uh, you know, is, is super athletic or not everyone, you know, thinks of themselves perhaps academically oriented. But certainly that creative thread was really important to us with Boost. How do you scientifically approach something like that?
We have an exhibit on flexibility that's called In the Box, and we actually allude to a, a historic incident kind of from Richmond's past where uh, a gentleman actually mailed himself to freedom uh, during the Civil War, and it's kind of a great, fun story, and you get a chance to kind of see how small you can make yourself and what it would cost to mail yourself across the country. There's certainly a lot of issues in society that we wanted to get at with Boost, and so things like childhood obesity and people's overall health and wellness were, were subjects that we really wanted to explore, but we ha you had to do it in a really positive, optimistic uh, light. We did have a great partner and, and health diagnostic lab that we kind of thought about uh, what their approach is in getting people to kind of take ownership of their health care, and you really can't take ownership unless you kind of know more about yourself. We also have a great exhibit on yoga. A lot of people don't know a lot about it and a chance to actually try yoga in a safe environment like the Science Museum and kind of stretch uh, yourself just a little bit. So in Boost, you get to learn all kinds of things about yourself, your own strength, your balance, your flexibility, and try to make sure that people kind of see science from a, a very uh, different perspective. Hmm, my favorite exhibit. See, it's hard, they're all like my children. You're asking me to pick which of my children I like the most. There are 26 unique, custom, individualized experiences, so uh, I love them all.